Hello out there in TV land. What's going on? We've arrived at our destination, Shingle Creek. We're gonna do some exploring today. We're at for 192 in Kissimmee. And I invite you to come with us to explore some old historic buildings. Thanks for being here. Welcome back to the channel. And let's do this. All right, we paid up. We got a group on and we got this map. We're gonna check out the replica historical buildings from the 1850s here in Osceola County in Kissimmee. So the first building we're gonna explore is the general store. And this is what it looked like back in the 1850s. Let's go take a closer look into the window and see what they got in the general store. I don't know if you can see, there's some oranges, lemons. And the next building we're coming up to is the Community Centered Schools. If you've ever seen the show Little House on Prairie, this is kind of what it's going to look like. Let's go walk inside. In class, roadies is going to be in session. Oh yeah, look at this. This is really nice. Get the desk all set up. Teacher's desk up front. Nice piano there. And welcome to class. Do your homework, kids. British officer finds paradise in Florida. 1888, Lieutenant Colonel William Cadman of Yorkshire, England, came to Narcusa to investigate potential investment property. And boy, did he strike gold. If he can only see Narcusi now. Went from a dirt road to a six lane highway. It's unique back in Florida to have the kitchen detached from the house. Just in case of the kitchen fire, well, the kitchen would burn down, but you still have your house. I got some eggs right here. That looks like something you can wash with right there. Imagine, I complain about washing with a washing machine. That looks like by hand in the tub. Table and chair. There goes your little, I guess, stove back there in the corner. Interesting. Across the breezeway onto the porch here. Let's see the main house and bedroom here. All right, what we got back up there? A bedpan, huh? Well, you know, I don't think there's no running water here. And there's outhouses, so if it got cold, I had to go use the bathroom right there. So as you see, Lieutenant Colonel Cadman had some money here. It's a picture of him, his wife, I guess. And the ceilings are much higher in here much larger house than the other one. And again, they've got that fine china here that they're using as well. Another nice quality about this house is the breezeway. You know, I like the porches, but look at the breezeway here too that leads from the main house to the kitchen, to the living area. So as we walk to the front part of the Cadman house, first thing that jumps out of me, there's a little crest up here, like some sort of family crest maybe? I don't know. And of course, you know I love these porches here. Got a couple rocking chairs here. And pan over here, there's a couple more here. I'm sitting on the porch of the Cadman house and I was just thinking, could you imagine living in Florida without AC? Thankfully it's a cool day. It's a nice cool winter day here in Florida. Um, but yeah, no AC, that's gonna be hard to do. Right outside the house is the church. And behind the church is a little replica cemetery. I always appreciate coming into churches, the house of God, peaceful. It's nice stained glass windows. This is really fancy. So our Lieutenant Colonel purchased Orange Grove in Narcusi, St. Cloud, Florida. And as you can see here, um, he was busy with many interests as he retired and got into the Florida citrus industry. And there is the packing house right there, but I'll tell you something else here. In the late 1890s, it says about the freeze they had here in Florida. 
it um, wiped out a lot of crops and damaged orange groves. And a quick note here is during that freeze, a city in Florida name changed to Frostproof. They called it Frostproof because they didn't have the freeze that the rest of Florida had. Therefore, the name Frostproof. And now we're gonna walk up to the front of the pack house where they pack all the orange oranges for shipping. You know, Florida is known as a sunshine state and also sends a lot of oranges all across the world throughout the country. Hence the Orange County, Orlando, Florida. And we have plenty of citrus here. So if you couldn't use the, the bedpan, you had to go to the outhouse. Here is the outhouse. Not much to it here. All right, we made it down to the farm area. Looks like a little cooking area, stove area, outdoors here. I hear some livestock back there. Let's go see what critters are around here on the farm. All right, the first building we're approaching is a cattleman's barn. And it's a picture of uh, Stephen Clay Parton. Road in, in St. Cloud, Parton Settlement. Let's go see inside this barn here. Uh, here we go. This one's got something in it. What do we got in here? Who is this? Ah, oh, it's Billy. Billy, what's going on? You doing all right? Come over here. Say hi to the roadies. Appreciate you. Take care now, all right? And behind the barn here is a modified 2020 version of an outhouse. <laughs> Uh, I love modernization. Enjoy the past, but really like the amenities of today. In fact, I might use that one right now. All right, guys. So it's called Rody with Rich. Just hit that subscribe button, and you guys can follow everything that I do. Appreciate you guys. Take care. All right, Rody, let the workers know that dinner's ready. Come and get it. Come and get it. All right, the next house we come across looks like Raymond Lanier, a progressive farmer. And his house here in the late, late 1800s. Let's go see what he has in here. This is a pretty, this is a really nice looking house. I really like the front porch, obviously. That's what I feel about the porches with their rocking chairs on the front. Walk in, it's like a beautiful, really wide breezeway. Important back in Florida to get that breeze going through, especially in the summertime, the heat can imagine the heat they had to put up with. And there's a bedroom right here. And I hear the airplane fly over again. Again, we're right underneath the flight path of the Kissimmee Regional Airport. Another nice bedroom here. That's interesting, a record player. Hmm, I wonder if that belongs here in this area or not. That's a really good question. A fireplace over there. Second bedroom here. Looks like they might have some money here. Let's go pan over here and see their uh, dining room area. There's a stove over there. Look at that country ham over there. Interesting. Very nice. Very nice for that era. And here's a view from the back side of what we already went through up front there the church and the cabin house and the packing house. What's weird though, is I noticed when we came in here, they're building houses literally right up to it. Urban sprawl. It's forever in Florida, urban sprawl. So the original settlers of this area, the area was the Seminole Indians of Central Florida. Uh, their shelters, the Cheekies, but we're gonna go into a second, local material, kind of reminds me of, of a Polynesian type of um, style. And uh, they were here and they did a lot of stuff with the land and worked. And there it is right there. Right? Wouldn't you agree? It's kind of like a Polynesian, Hawaiian type feel. Let's go underneath one. Much simpler life back then. Much simpler life. And I can see over here. The ones that are raised off the ground, that's probably where they slept. They don't want to probably sleep on the ground. They were probably raised off the ground and slept in these right here. 
and the main one I'm in maybe somewhere maybe they they did some cooking it looks like right here possibly this is like maybe their kitchen and those would be the bedrooms over there I can say one thing about the Seminole Indians they use their resources this is a uh, this is palm tree here in Florida there's plenty of palm trees and apparently it makes some great shade very resourceful so here we are at the village depot the pioneer village depot and prior to the 1880s transportation was primarily by foot horse or wagon so this sweet ride here the sugar belt railroad was built from Kissimmee to Narcusi and it transported all kinds of goods and also tourism started here because of that you know brought people in from other parts of the of the country on train very nice one thing I noticed right away is a water tower without that water tower can't have life you need water everything needs water water tower is a good indicator of a future establishment or settlement they need here I've always been a big fan of trains ever since a little kid I would play with toy trains and stuff and this this rep the track here and the, this, this is really neat this, this is something that brings up good childhood memories as a kid and I just love this type of stuff All right, we're finished up here at Rhodes at the Pioneer Village, Shingle Creek. Just so you know, the hours are, Monday, are daily, 10 to 4, and admissions are around $8 per person. But like I said, we went through Groupon. Uh, support your local businesses here. Uh, we had a great time here. I love the historical part about Florida. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you haven't, please subscribe. If you have any comments, please put them below because we'd love to hear from you and we'd love to interact with, with you. And as always, roadies, take care, be safe, until next time.